Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm Vikova, you can call me V, and today I'm playing Strange Horticulture and I'm going in fairly blind, or fairly unknowing I should say. Um, I've only watched the trailer. Um, hello and welcome to Alquil, to Ninetail Dragon, Calmly Enveloped, to Hugging Sam, Kyrivo, and Teferax. It's amazing to see so many people here today. Uh, it's time to get started. So, hopefully the sound balance is alright. I'm jumping in. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbours can reach across and shake hands. Or more likely, exchange unpleasant trees. Oh, this is lovely. Call me envelops and thank you for correcting yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to to deal with um particularly ableist language that I've absorbed but don't want to be using. It's mostly come out of my writing, but it takes a little longer to get it out of my speech. So let's continue on. I'm already loving this aesthetic. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Ooh! <laughs> yes, Sam, I'm a PNG tuber now. I decided to become a dragon. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to be a dragon. I'm getting some uh, Fall in London vibes at the moment, which I'm enjoying. Recently the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Ooh. This game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in out. Oh, that's great. Okay. Let's zoom in here so everyone can see it. <clears throat> I've found it, an excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside side, and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on, at the gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone. P.S. Give Hellebore a good scratch behind the ears from me. Hellebore. Sam says, I've decided to become a dragon. V is a shapeshifting trickster deity confirmed. Maybe just a shapeshifting trickster. <laughs> yeah, it's a great feature to be able to zoom in. Nine, I agree. Look at these plants. Oh. Okay, so we can have a lot more than this at some point. I can click on them. I can inspect them. It smells of nothing that I can detect. What's this? I can move it around. I'm loving the ambience here. <laughs> Calmly enveloped says, mmm, the rain, absolutely. Um, there's also an option in this game, I should mention it because it's a good accessibility feature. It gives you the option of changing all of your fonts to simple fonts that are easier to read. Um, I wanted to keep the atmosphere of this visual, but it is, it, it's quite accessible, I would say. Um, to Toto, hello and welcome! It's lovely to see you! There's a sleeping cat! Oh my gosh, this cat! It was like a shadow! I didn't notice it! Hello! Oh, it's purring! Hello, you're the most beautiful cat! Oh, it's a bell. The will to explore a closer inspection and a rising dread. This is, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Tephrax has painted its picture. <laughs> wrong game, wrong game. I've already painted all the cats. <laughs> uh, I'll keep inspecting some of these plants. The veined leaves have a waxy finish. Oh, 
this one. Smells faintly of wood smoke. Feels like rough glass paper. Oh, I love it. It has a sweet scent like strawberry dipped in honey. Ooh! <laughs> Tepharak says, I mean Friday stream. Right, that's right. Every Friday stream there must be cats now, I guess. <laughs> Nine says, this is a friend cat. They let you wake them up and didn't destroy your hand slash cursor. Yes, true, true. Could have gone much worse. <laughs> Sam says, I'm headcanoning right now that Hellebore and Merlin would be best friends. Uh, Merlin's terrified of other cats, but if Hellebore was always asleep, I think that would be a good start. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ring this bell. Victoria Gray. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices from the floor- Oh, wait. It went really quickly. From the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. I should give her St. John's poppy. Does anyone know plants? A poppy. I think I know what a poppy looks like, at least. I'm saying- Aha! That's gotta be it, right? Inspect it. Cream-coloured flowers. They smell wonderful. I'm gonna use this plant. Sam says the will to explore a closer inspection and a feeling of rising dread is a more accurate and succinct description of my life than I am willing to admit. <laughs> oh no. I need to be more careful that wasn't St. John's poppy. I must be better prepared next time. Oh no, my dread is rising. What does this do? Oh! I found some new th I found some new tools. There's supposed to be a book with the notes? Oh, perhaps letters dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the south northeast of black barrow keep it secret I put my letters in this drawer okay strange book of plants by wilfred voirich a note from the author this encyclopedia can be used as a reference to help identify plants Note that where I've included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid to identification. Often the description will be more useful to you. Remember to take extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misuse of this encyclopedia. St. John's Poppy. Papava Valemedy. The vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draught that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. The flowers of the St. John's poppy are a bright red with a yellow center. Oh, it's you. The flowers are red with a sweet scent. I think it's you. Plant identified. Okay, this is going well. Thank you for the advice about the book, Sam. That was helpful. Nine says I'm getting a papers please kind of feel from this, from the mechanics anyway. Yes, I, I would agree with that. We have like this little table in which we pull things and move them around and use the space. And then people arrive at the window, but the I completely agree, the atmosphere is very different. Papers I loved papers please, but also it was one of the most stressful games I've ever played. I've been rewarded with a book entry. Clavillium. Marsilia Clavis. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. <gasps> I'm so excited! <laughs> We're gonna be using all of these plants to like... What is this? So, we're probably gonna use this to look over symbols? I notice it fits over these. And... Is this one of these? That's that one upside down. 
Oh, there's a secret code here. Maybe I should make this one this, if that was the first one we've received. I don't know. I might put that in clues. No, it goes in letters. Okay. This lets me zoom in. Hello, boy. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm very excited. Uh, T Tata says, look at the top symbol of, of this one. <gasps> oh! I know who this symbol is. That's a little crow. Okay, thank you, T Tata. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked to have missed that. Let's have a look at these labels. Okay, I'm not supposed to do anything with them yet. Let's Let's get another person. David Schaefer. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants though, eh? Got a letter for you. I will collect that letter. Thank you. Oh! Ooh, I've opened the will to explore. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travellers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower, and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. This is very full in London that we're in Undermere and there's no light and oh my goodness. People exchange unpleasantries. Okay. We have the will to explore. Let's find out what this does, shall we? Oh, look at this map! Okay. Undermere. I think that's where we are. Back Barrow was mentioned in our first letter, hang on me. An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. No, this is... No, what's about Simone? This, a dangerous plant grows in the hills northeast of Back Barrow. So we could go collect this. And this is about Gosforth. The woods to the south of the town with a group of travellers. South of Gosforth. Nothing here. Alright, let's try this again. I've used up my will to explore. I haven't looked in the right place. This is interesting! Okay, let's put my map away. I I'm having a good, a good time not using the hints at the moment. I'm glad that hints exist, but... And this is a sea dragon in L2? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's have a little look. Clicky clicky. Ooh. I'm loving having other eyes. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Gosforth, Sam says, is that the police from Gosforth and Sin No More? <laughs> Okay. Well, we'll build up the will to explore again if we get more customers. Gilbert Ames. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around, down through Back Barrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now, and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I had to cover to get here. Lemon dandy. Okay. Let's have a look. Citrum crispus. Its curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated 
with curing afflictions of the heart. So we'll have yellow curled leaves. This picture's not necessarily helpful, I think they said. These have kind of curled leaves. Hmm. What do we think? Oh, wait, this could be it, couldn't it? That smells faintly of wood smoke. Peeled lemon rind. That doesn't look anything like this. I, I just don't know. But then it said the pictures will be less useful. What do you What do you think? Hello, Crazypedia. Welcome. To Tartos is this so cool looking game. Completely agreed. I'm very excited to be playing it. Um, thank you to RK's row who uh, gifted it to me. I wouldn't be playing it yet if not for that, and I am very excited. Sam says, I don't trust people who don't trust witches or dogs. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, Crazy Pity isn't a plant based mystery. Is it growing on you yet? Oh. <laughs> Jutata says, What about the one under the one that you tried? Hang on. This is the one I tried. Is that what you meant? Oh no, this one. But I don't think those are the leaves though. The yellow bit is... It doesn't have curled leaves. The leaves are coarse to the touch. The, the yellow is, is the flowers, I think. I think that might be... Hmm. The one with the white flowers bottom right. This one? Yeah, this one. I'm Again, these leaves aren't curled. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to have to risk rising some dread. Tefarak says, I'm just having a busy afternoon, so lurking. That's totally fine. The green one bottom shelf in the white pot. Those leaves are curled. The bulb is a soft yellow. The leaves are waxy. Hmm. I think, I wonder if the game is teaching me about uh, when I get things wrong. Homing Belt says, talking about gifting, is it possible to add you on Steam V? Yes, it is. Um, I'll message you on Mastodon after. I don't have a problem with that. The blue one on the top row looks like the image. This one? This one. Curled leaves! Hang on, I think you could be onto something. That looks exactly like it. C properly curly leaves. Oh, good one, Kyrivo. I think that could be it. I think everyone's in agreement here. Al's mentioning it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the one, everyone. Thank you. We're just going to flawlessly play this game. <laughs> Lemon dandy, plant identified. You get a new plant. Oh. It's like a lily? Alright. Pale yellow flowers, the leaves are quite soft. Okay, the will to explore is grown. Let me have a look again at the... The woods to the south of the town, on the northeast corner of the woods. Here. <gasps> oh, we got it! The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamour of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. 
This is so good. I'm having such a good time with this game. <laughs> yeah. Sam says good teamwork chat. Absolutely. You've done brilliant work. Thanks everyone. Okay. Letting the will to explore build up. I can put my book away. I haven't gained any more of these symbols yet. That's been ticked. <laughs> okay. Let's next customer. Faye Swift. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her, a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing, but not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly, horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Hang on, what's this? Forest camphrey is the plant, but I want to click on this in just a second. Forest camphrey. Camimum silver. The strong smelling bulb of this plant has this powerful soporific effect, making it a common ingredient in sleeping drafts. The camphrey produces a beautiful, rounded, dark blue cluster made up of many smaller flowers. Okay, what happens if I click here? Oh, Faye Swift the Psychic! Faye grew up with her mother. Her father was rarely violent, but once is enough. Oh, content warning here. I don't think this game's necessarily going to be completely safe. Uh, when he struck her, it finally broke the hold he had over her mother, and she fled in the night, the sleeping Faye held close. Faye often has vivid dreams, but has never considered that other people do not. She came to strange horticulture seeking relief from her nightmares. Okay. You're going to be a recurring character then. Forest camphrey with a strong smelling bulb. A dark blue cluster made of many other flowers. This looks like it could be it. Pungent, but not unpleasant. This could be, this could be it. Dark blue cluster made of many smaller flowers. What do you think? That also has a cluster, but isn't, no, that looks more thistly. Light airy scent, that can't be it. Sam says, not sure I believe in the existence of good sleep. Oh uh, yeah, unfortunately I have to agree. Everyone thinks this is the one? Let's go for it. Use plant. Got a new book entry. Butterdale. I should probably be adding labels to these plants so I can see which ones I've identified. Oh, we really should. Often found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed in mulch to form a poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. Hang on, labels. This is forest camphrey. Okay. Uh, I don't have a color coding system yet. Um, this was uh, St. John's poppy. Where is it? Okay. What was lemon dandy? It was the turquoise plant, wasn't it? Yes, curly leaves. Okay. This is good. This is good. <laughs> this is going to become a mess real quick, isn't it? Let's go explore. So. Come to the library in Ambleside. And we can learn about the wandering view. Ambleside. Ambleside. 
on side, Amble side. The library here in Ambleside is one of my favourite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today, she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Two book entries. Gilded Dendra. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma, a sure and painful way to die, a poison. The poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Oh, I didn't read Wandering View. I want to get it. Where's my book? Um, Wandering View. So cold because this fungus can move slowly in the dark, it has been known to cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Ooh. I'm enjoying this game immensely. Okay, let's go again. Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering view? That always reminds me of... Oh, what's his name? That old hermit inventor, the Wanderer. Anyway, the view, if you've got it. Uh, it, it the wandering view's the fungus, right? Oh, I only have one mushroom. No, I have two mushrooms. Okay, okay. Oh, I think... Marlin, don't... Marlin, don't be sick on the bed, Marlin. One second, everyone. Was just being a little bit sick. Um, he hasn't actually vomited, but I put a towel under him, and he, he seemed to calm down a little bit when I pet him. So there we go. <laughs> All right. So one of these funguses is wandering view. Let's have a look. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. Sharp. Red spores protrude from the caps. This could be it. The sharp, um, gills. Let's have a look. It smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make my eyes water. That's not it. I think this must be wandering view. Success! <laughs> oh, and we've learned about the Lady of Summer. The leaves curl round delightfully which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature makes this a sought after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory, deterioration associated with old age. Oh, okay. So let's label our one wandering view. Okay. This is going well. Two turtles says I almost want to get this game too. It's so lovely. I'm not surprised if I saw someone playing this, I'd be like, I must have a turn. Oh, hi Merlin. Merlin has opted not to be sick and instead to come get cuddles at the desk. So just take a moment to cuddle Merlin. Hello. All right, we've got the will to explore back. Let's see what we can find. Um, I've done that one. I haven't done this flower symbol. And I haven't done dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills northeast of Back Barrow. Northeast. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a grey morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over, a cloak of unwelcome shade. New plant! Oh, it's beautiful. And dangerous, the note said. Carrie was as I just bought it while watching the stream. <laughs> the power of watching a stream of good good indie games. <laughs> Sam says not being sick and getting cuddles is definitely the option I'd go for if I had the option. Yeah. 
Oh, Marlin. You okay? Okay. There we go. All right. End day! Okay, we're ending the day. Al says I did that with Slime Ratchet. Was that when I was playing it? Because I remember, I feel like while I was playing it, you you suddenly had gotten into like the late game. <laughs> you you progressed so incredibly quickly. It was amazing. Let's see. What's this? Tarot? No. A location. The third river, row H. It started when she found something, something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Ooh! <laughs> Two Turtles says our kid loves Slime Rancher and has played through it multiple times. It's a beautiful game. I really, really love it. I, I don't have the patience to farm it very much, but I really enjoyed playing it for the time that I did. <laughs> Kariba said, had I known that this has cars, I would have bought it even sooner. <laughs> Okay, I think this is a clue. Let's uh, put this here. Put my map away. Put my labels away. Pet my cat. Hello, boy. Good cat. Pet my real cat. Good boy, Merlin. <laughs> Can I click this candle? No. I have the will to explore, but I don't have any clues to find yet. All I know is that this has... Oh! Hang on! That just flipped! Okay, okay. I'm excited about this! <laughs> Nine says I streamed it myself back when I used to do that sort of thing. Slime Rancher! Oh wow! Hello and welcome Eldritch! Eldritch Stream says I picked up Slime Rancher uh, back up. It's super fun. It is really fun. Welcome Maloki! It's lovely to see you! Malachi says, I made it, kinda. Hey, look, it, we're only 40 minutes into the stream. You definitely made it. <laughs> okay, I don't think we need to explore, so I'm going to invite a customer. Isidore Burbage. Bring me a sample of Apis Demesis and be quick about it. The damn cat is sitting off my allergies. Get, get out of my shop. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. Strong- if you can't have a cat in a shop called Strange Horticulture, you can't have a cat anywhere. Like, <laughs> oh. Oh. It's okay if you- it's okay if you can't really focus, Maliki. It's lovely to have you here. Camera Who Girls, hello and welcome. They say, ooh, we've been curious about this game. It's wonderful. I adore it. Okay. So you want Apis Demesis. Oh, I could use the three different labels for the different kinds of names. I'm gonna relabel my plants now while I can because they all have like a common name, a nickname, and a Latin name. So I need to redo these. That's why it's three colors of labels. Apis Demesis. Can I search my contents by another? Well, let's just go through. Can I just turn the pages? We're looking for Apis Demesis. Aha! Candy root. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant only the petals are safe for consumption. Maybe you should just eat both. Horrible man. Alright. Um. Candy root. That has... Could, that could be it. This also has something a little similar. So. Let's have a look. The leaves are coarse to the touch. Hang on. The leaves... The rough leaves... Sweet smelling. I think this could be it. Let's try it. Correct. Candy root. And we've learned about meek dew. The beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets make this a sought-after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. 
It may be a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Okay, I'm gonna sort out my labels before we go any further. So, just bear with me. I wanna do it now before it becomes an issue later on. Um, Sam says, well sir, here you have your plant then. Break spot on his head. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, ca this, is, this is our candy root. We're going to say common name, Latin name, and then if they have a nickname, that can be pink. So purple will be common name. Wait. No, yellow's the top one. Yellow will be common name. Can D root. Oh, can I only have one label on them? Oh. Well. Never mind then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> At least I don't have to redo them. Okay. Uh, pet hellebore. Squitchies. I love the purr. Hellebore's so cute. I don't have any reason to explore yet. Out of curiosity. Okay, this doesn't do anything. Put that away. <laughs> uh, nine says, will it give you a second line on the label if you press enter? No. I think I get one label. Which is fine. Let's ring the bell. Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Thank you, David Schaefer. Ooh, a seal. I love sealing things with wax. There's an old slate mine at the Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. I wonder if I have any notes about Amos Duncan. Is it all Burbage? No. Okay. Let's let's ha use our will to explore. <laughs> Sam says, "Glad I'm not a plant in this game. I would not do well with only one label." <laughs> Big mood. <laughs> Okay, this letter was pointing us toward the slate mine at Hard Knot. Hard Knot, here. An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted, it may be, but it won't budge. Locked. I need clavillium to unlock the gate. Oh, this is such a dream of a game. Okay. We're gonna use a plan to open this lock. This is the coolest. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock. I remember when we read this. Heart-shaped leaves. Clavillium. We're looking for heart-shaped leaves. What do we think? What about you? Smooth, waxy leaves. Those don't look heart-shaped. Of course, it might have a flower. Those look pretty heart-shaped. The flowers are made up of many smaller blue flowers. They smell pleasant. Could this be clavillium? I'll keep looking. I'll see what people think. I don't think any of these are fitting the bill. I'm gonna try it. Wait, what do we what do we have here? One to the right of the one I tried. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with you, Alquil. Okay, let's do it. Oh yes! The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. With three plants. 
When burned, incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Wow. These are my three new plants. They're all funky. Okay. And one of them glows! Let's have a look. Give off a small amount of light. That's very cool. Okay, let's let's label my clavillion. I want you to have a pink label. Clavillium. My labels. This is a so fun. <laughs> Nine says glowing mushrooms are the best. Mushrooms absolutely agreed. That is why everything I write has luminous mushrooms in them. Um, all right, we succeeded with that letter. Time for wait, quick cuddle. Good kitty, hellebore. Okay. It's Reuben Ward again. Wait, is this the first time? I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. That's the witches who live in the woods. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. No. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Fox button, eh? Okay. Do I know about fox button? I do. Camomim vulpes. An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. I've seen a plant that has leaves that look like that. This, maybe? No. This one. Smells of nothing I can detect. I think that looks like those leaves. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along the stems. Are they... Yeah, they are in opposing pairs. What was the other one that looked promising? This one. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. I mean, those also grow in opposing pairs. Shiny leaves. I don't know what people think. What about this one? Oh, that's the one I was doing originally. I think this is the one. I feel like these look shinier, but I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. These are opposing leaves. They're not very shiny, though. <laughs> Kara, of course, I just noticed the dragon. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, the white one has the more rounded leaves like in the picture says Eldritch this one yeah I think I think you could be right there the blue flower and more pointed leaves okay Alquil agrees okay thank you everyone let's go with this one F9 says we're going to press the fox button let's go yes Oh, we're amazing at this. We could totally run a horticultural shop. <laughs> we would just split into teams. We'd have the ones who look them up in the books, the ones who go out and collect the plants, and the ones who deal with the, identify things for the customers. I think it would go very well. <laughs> Fox button. Brimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a draft made from using leaves from the brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. Okay, let's make sure we name our fox button. You can be purple. Fox button. Oh, I'm having such a good time. Okay. <laughs> Malachi says so many people here today, I love it. Yeah, it's going really well, isn't it? I'm quite pleased. Oh, it's Victoria Gray again. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. Yes. There's a medium using the room, illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Harlequin Blue. I'm gonna scare a psychic with a plant? This is... This is so 
This is so fun. <laughs> I have missed my calling. I want I want to be I want to be a horticulture witch. <laughs> if only I could keep plants alive in real life. Only succulents like me. When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems could be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant that is so cool okay the harlequin blue bushy blue flower head hmm mm, maybe you already named that's not very bushy i think it could be this blue flowers light airy scent Ma wait Maybe? Possibly? You already named. A lot of our bushy blue flowers are already named. I'm feeling... I'm feeling fairly confident. Do we think this might be it? I can't look at them both at the same time. I need to do this. There we go. This looks like it might be more of an internal sketch. But the actual outside shape, like this is like a cross section, does look the same. Hmm. Probably is. Eldritch says it makes me think of dandelions. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna give it. Success! Oh, we're so good! Tuturto says customer comes. I would like a plant. Team goes, it's this. No, it's that. I bet it's this. Don't mind us, dear customer. We'll find it soon enough. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> shimalung. The dried stem of the shimalung burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near blinding white purple light. Ooh, okay. This was our harlequin blue. Okay. Oh, this is so great. I have a lot of will to explore, but. I, I don't have anywhere I need to go. Should I use the will to explore anyway, or should I save it until I receive a letter? Sam says, it occurs to me that in this game we are being a librarian, but for plans? Oh my gosh, you are blowing my mind. That explains so much about why I enjoy this. <laughs> I'm finding this deeply satisfying. <laughs> um... Eldritch says the will refills fairly quickly. That's true. Let's just let's just go somewhere. Wait, oh hang on. Out of curiosity. Would this reveal anything? It has me in mind of a hagstone. I feel like it'll show me something secret. It does fit around the squares quite nicely. Perhaps not. What about you? Hmm. Uh, let's go to Endmore. After a pleasant amble through the village, I find myself in a farmer's field. There is little of botanical interest here, only a few sheep and an old scarecrow, who leers at me from his perch, arms askew. I notice he is dressed in what looks like a shopkeeper's outfit. Once respectable, now shabby. I cannot quite place who he reminds me of. Ooh, pet hellebore. Oh my gosh, I love hellebore so much. What about the card with the river on it? Oh, heck! Let's look at the map again. I don't have the will to explore. I can look at the map though. Okay, hang on. No magnifying glass. Uh, no, please! Put this away. Open this. Get out my magnifying glass. Wait, where's my card? My card. My magnifying glass. Go in my book. Get out my card. Row H. I think it could be 
It's got like this large curve, row H. The third river. One, two, three. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hello and welcome, Gamer Neil. This is strange horticulture, which is like an occult um, point and click detective game in which you are giving out and identifying plants in order to for people to use them for strange purposes. And a story is kind of gradually revealed. I'm having a great time. It sounds like a witch has just been killed, the leader of the witches. <laughs> Sam says, I think column four. Hmm. Oh, hang on. So like, here, here? Not sure. Hmm. Oh, hello and welcome, this rhymes with Orange, who says, Hey, hey, I just read about this game, I was thinking I really wanted to try it. I already highly recommend it, I'm loving it, I'm absolutely adoring it. If you like kind of taking things at your own pace and investigating and exploring around uh, a, a workspace and map, I, I think it's fantastic. It's beautiful. Um, Nine says, wait, is that town in C31 called Teabag? Let's find out. C31. If T Bay! Ah! Oh. <laughs> if only. Yeah, it does say the third river, Tutato. I'm not. I just. It doesn't look like this. Is this upside down, maybe? Row H. The third river. I mean, that's one, two, three, surely. The river Urt, the river Esk, the river Dudon, so it must be the river Dudon, and row H is here, but that's so straight, it doesn't look like it. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not sure. Hmm. That one river has isl has island on it. River Esk? Oh, that's true. But that's not in row H. Alright, we'll use our will to explore. I'm gonna, I'll click row H. Hmm. The third river. We'll try here. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. And now we've lost the card. That's interesting. But we did get a plant, so this was where we were supposed to go. New plant acquired. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, it looks like it could be derived from third. Oh, the map and the card at different angles. I wondered about that. Well, I, 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 we've either done it or we've lost it forever. I think we got it. Um, Nine says, fun fact, dear carcasses are plants. Yes, obviously. <laughs> Sam says maybe it's a side shoot the third we can't see yet. Well, I hopefully, hopefully we achieved it. Let's get the next customer. Bethany Coleman. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arduina bring her spirit peace. Arduina? Like the, like the, uh, raspberry pie type thing sorry the nature of her death is unusual the sisterhood does not often look to outside help but this is beyond our knowledge if you show my sisters this letter they will allow you entry to the forest be uh, to be assured of your discretion we require that you use mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy oh my gosh we're gonna go meet the witches oh <laughs> Nine says Arduina, the goddess of microcontrollers. This is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, okay, okay. Let's find Mary's breath. Thankfully, that is the common name. Salatum Regis. The wide, waxy leaves 
allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. It is said that a person can be bound to secrecy using Mary's breath. It is it used to be grown in the royal gardens so that the king could ensure the trust of his confidants. But the pre practice fell out of favor. Wide waxy leaves. I've definitely clicked something that had waxy leaves. What about you? Your leaves don't look very veiny. Smooth waxy leaves. You're a contender. Your leaves don't look as like they don't seem to point in quite the same way, do they? Um wide waxy leaves something with big leaves what are your leaves like dark blue petals are soft to the touch that doesn't sound like it um veined leaves have a waxy finish these leaves are veined this could be it and look it, it curls to a point which one do we think do we think this one here, or do we think this one here? So the first one, or the second one? Nine says, oh, that looks right, the second one? Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I've just realized this rhymes with orange followed me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're having a nice time. Agree the second one, says Kyrivo. Tutata says the second one looks right, let's, let's do it. All right. Oh, we are so good at this. We could absolutely have a horticulture shop. <laughs> Knowing nothing, we're clearly brilliant at this. Um, <laughs> and the letter that will gain us access. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the ardour has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest. A mile from the lake shore across from Torva. Please help us. Yours and hope, the sisterhood of Arduina. Okay. I gotta I gotta label my plant while I remember. You let's see purple. You are Mary's breath. Okay. Um I have a will to explore and I'm going to use it. Eldritch says teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Nine says this is nothing like a real shop though. All the customers know what they want and none of them are yelling. This is very true. We have, we have an unusually good clientele. <laughs> Although I think it helps if you just have like one little window and you, they can't just wander around getting into trouble. This rhymes with orange has got a bounce, but thank you for the short time. It's been lovely to have you, this rhymes with orange. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. All right, let's find this witch's forest. Grisdale Forest, here. A mile from the lake shore across from Torva. A mile, how many miles? Oh, hang on, we've got miles here. Each square is one mile. The lake shore, so it's here. As soon as I step off the road, two members of the Sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their forest. I am not welcome here. I try showing them the sister's letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place and move me along without offering any help. Oh, I bet it was the one over. It's so hard to say, like, when they a mile from the shore, but the squares are, like, in an odd place. Ah. Tutato says I have to leave too. Oh, thanks so much for dropping by. It's been lovely to have you here, Tutato. You you've given me some helpful advice. Sam says, I think customers are like community members. You have to cultivate the right ones. Pun not initially intended, but I'm rolling with it. And V is very good at maintaining a good culture. Ah, well, I think honestly, I've just been incredibly fortunate <laughs> with who turns up to my streams. But if anyone terrible does turn up, I will throw them out. <laughs> um, Game and Neil says, agreeing to secrecy is like signing an NDA, only it's live in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah, I did uh, sign myself to secrecy in front of my uh in uh in like large chat room of 18 horticulture co-workers i think that's what we're going with right now <laughs> all right let's uh we'll explore his rebuilding up let's let's get someone new isidore burbage is back i'm this close to reporting you halfwit 
The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. This is the man who hates cats. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Ugh. Just leave. I need to think carefully about which plan to use here. My actions could have consequences. So I'm choosing Butterdale or Meek Dew. I bet one of these... I bet one of these makes him very mad. <laughs> Butterdale. Buttrium Dixerat. Often found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form a poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. It cures skin rashes. Um, where's Meek Dew? This is the poison flower! The beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets make this a sought after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Do I want to make things worse or better? <laughs> I have to tell you, in, in this video game, I am feeling quite vengeful. Srillic, hello and welcome! It's lovely to have you here. Let me see back out. Nine says I haven't seen Bean throw out any non-bots. I think they just attract good folks by being so wholesome. Oh, thank you, Nine. <laughs> Sam says I've torn between wanting to piss him off and just pleasing him so he goes away. I wonder if we try and please him if he'll just cause us trouble anyway. Eldritch says we can always have an asshole run next time. <laughs> we just poison everyone next time. Jabal, oh, hello Jabal. Jabal says I feel like there's a bit of a Hippocratic duty of care thing so I say cure the asshole's rashes. Fine. Everyone wants to be a good person to this cat hating villain. Let's get the, let's get the butter tail. <laughs> <laughs> Kyriva wants meek to you? Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling tempted. Malachi says gonna go nap. Okay, well it's been lovely to have you, Malachi. Thank you for stopping by. Cyrillic says sometimes you just have to watch the world burn. Oh no, we're split. <laughs> Sounds as cat haters don't deserve medicine. <laughs> Sorry, I've hit my mic. I'm laughing. My hand's flailing. Whoops. Okay. Smite it with plants. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm gonna give him the Butterdale. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. Uh, let's see. Dark green leaves. <sighs> you look exactly like that. Buttery scent. Do you have a buttery scent? The flowers smell buttery. I think this has to be it. Oh, am I really gonna give it? I'm gonna help. I'm really gonna help. I the duty of care thing really did sway me. I no. We'll... Do it. Correct. It's the end of day. Storian. The dark red fruit should not be ingested under any circumstances, as they are highly poisonous, resulting in insanity and then death. A cross section of the stem shows the distinctive triple xylem and phloem of the Storian. Okay, look, we were good this time. If he comes back and causes more trouble, I will give him a rash. I'm gonna give him, like, the insanity flower or something. Um, <laughs> Nine says we know what to give him next. Exactly, Nine. Nine and I are on the same thing. Sounds like, oh, you're being really good, V, and me and Nine are like, that's the last chance. <laughs> Strelix says it was the Hippocratic, not Hippocratic oath, oath, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Let me name, uh, label my plant. This was Butterdale. Oh, ooh, I've moved it. You can have pink. Ooh, Butterdale. Butterdale, there we go. Alright. The day has ended, but I do have the will to explore. Let's see if we can find the witches. So, it's one mile per square. One mile across. I did this one. 
I'm gonna do this one now. A sister tries to shot me, stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled courtyard, um, and then through a large oak door along a corridor, and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table draped in silk is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as a raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? asks my escort. I set to work. Ren! Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is getting intense. Eldritch says I always go with nice options for my first playthroughs, but if there's the option I want to play again, I'll absolutely be a spirit of vengeance. I, when I play like RPGs, I'm almost always a good person. I like being good. I, 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 I do like having a villain run sometimes, but that is my natural state. That said, I, I don't feel necessarily like giving a horrible man a rash for annoying me. Is that bad? Um, <laughs> giving him the poison flower, I think maybe would be a little bit worse, but... <laughs> Sam says, can't remember who said it, but one of my fave quotes ever is, All wise people fear three things, a moonless night, a storm at sea, and the wrath of a gentle soul. Oh, I love that. Nine says to quote something else entirely. That's a good wisdom. It's a good wisdom. All right. Wren. Ipsum flavus. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons, and so can be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. Okay, let's look for these leaves. Um, I'm getting all stuffy in my nose. I apologize, everyone. Uh, let's see. It's a quite long, pointed, um, I should probably begin to organize my, nope. Oh, there's like gaps in the shelves. Uh, these ones don't really bend. These ones don't seem to stick up from the bottom in the same way. Hang on. I have a, am I supposed to be watering these plants? Oh no. Hang on, I gotta go water all my plants. I- oh no. What if all my plants die? I just had a terrible realization! This can't happen to me in a video game as well. I can't- I can't go- Okay, hang on. Okay. Ooh, okay, disaster averted. They're all they're all, all been watered. Um, the long leaves. The what far one, left one in the bottom row. Did you mean no? I don't think that. I I think I've moved too much. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Ow. Nine says this would be why only succulents do well in V's care. Exactly. <laughs> Colin Belt says you kind of missed the far bottom left one, I think. Is this one? That's Har Harlequin Blue? I don't know. Left, 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 left? Ah, uh, what else does it look like? Give me some more descriptions. <laughs> Cyrillic says I've killed more succulents than any other kind of plant. Oh, perhaps you're an other kind of plant person. You're watering them too much. <laughs> left. Oh, I've been looking right. Did you mean this one? has a scent that scratches the back of my throat. But I don't think those leaves, like they don't, I don't know. It has no flower. Well, this has no flower. It could be it. A rising dread. Mm. Let's try it. Yeah, everyone says this one. All right, I, I trust I trust my fellow horticulturalists. Strange horticulturalists. Oh. You're geniuses. <laughs> I extract a sample of the Arda's blood and introduce it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the wren turn black, which can only mean one thing, gilded dendra poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. 
Okay. Grey sand fire, we've learned about. It has a tough outer bark, which has many useful properties. Some chew it as a form of dental hygiene, taking care not to swallow it, as it can cause unpleasant stomach distress. And what are my new plants? Oh! Look at this one. Thorny. Alright. Hang on, I gotta... I gotta make some... This is getting very crowded. Okay. I can maybe start putting my fungi in certain shelves and I'll, I'll organize things later. Um, it's the end of the day. We do have a bit of more will to explore building up, but we don't really have anywhere else to go. I guess I could just click on a location, but I didn't seem to find plants when I did that. Kariba says, I just work here because I want to pet Hellebore. Big mood. I would absolutely take a job just to hang out with that cat. Um, Nine says from this we can infer that the player character has known death. Perhaps an uncle died and left them a plant shop? Who can say? Well, this is what happened, isn't it? That's the start of the game. It's very good. Elder says, I'll organize things later. That's a dangerous sentence for me. I, As I said it, I was having a little premonition of like, oh, I know where this is going to end. <laughs> Uh, name the plant! Oh, Neil! Yes, thank you, yes, oh my gosh. This was Wren. This could be purple. Wren. Thank you. Nines is going to be honest, if I was playing this, the known plants would already be in alphabetical order. <laughs> oh no. Alright. There's gonna come a point where I, we, I'm gonna come in and we're like, okay, now is the organization part of the stream where I take all my plants in order. Maybe I should do that at the end of the stream. Oh, all right. I'm ending the day. This game is incredible. My cat, my real cat is here. Hello, Melon. Time to draw a card. North of Hawk's Head, east of Lowick, west of Rusland, south of Crinkle Crags. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. Hmm. Jabal says, but who's got the time for that? Oh, no. Sam says we're not that far off from the end of the stream. You could just organize them now. I could. Okay, hang on. Oh, wait, let me... Put everything away. You can go there. Here are my clues. Oh, Hellebore's sitting up! I'm going to pet Hellebore. Oh, Hellebore. Alright. Let's do them by type and alphabetical order. As in... So, I would like all my fungi to come to this shelf. All of my plants with flowers, all of my unflowered plants. Do you think that could be good? I think that could be good. Let's see. Are there any more fungi? No, I think we got them. All right. You are wandering blue. And you are unlabeled. So you can go first. Uh, are un... No, no flowers. No flowers. <gasps> Another fungi. Flowers. Funky. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, was there any further this way? No. <laughs> Carrie versus Hellebore is looking at us. It's just thrilling, isn't it? Uh, you don't have any flowers. You don't have any flowers. Okay, so Ren and Mary's breath. Mary's breath goes first, then Ren. Okay, then we're going to do single flowers. So where each stem has a single flower. Uh, each, these are fluffy, but I think that they're single flowers. These stems seem to have single flowers. Maybe I should just do actually single flowers. Hang on. Hmm. You don't have any flowers, do you? Okay. 
put you over here. Hmm. Let's see. Single flower. Forest camphrey is the only labelled flower we have. Okay, then we'll do multiple flowers but made up of single flowers. These, that's not one. Wait, are they? No, that's a single. Okay. This is too large of a section! I'm making this section the everything else section. Okay. Let's just alphabetize this. Butterdale goes first. Lemon Dandy goes next. And Fox Button. Candy Root. Okay, okay. Uh, Clavillium. Unlabeled. I'm sure I'll get more sections eventually. Okay. I think that'll do for now. That's a little more organized than it was. It's a little bit nonsense, but... Sam says, I love the game, but it's very unrealistic of you to expect me to believe there is a cat in a place with so many pots and he hasn't pushed a single one of them off the shelf. Impossible. Nine says, press the fox button to sort your plants. Colin Phelps says, the reason they do that is because they want a player full of energy. It's very true. Cats cause trouble. They, they aren't trying to cause trouble. They're just wonderful and need and need uh stimulation let's see i'm going I, I don't think we have any reason to explore i'm gonna do i've got a few minutes left i'm gonna do a bit more of this day of the next day <gasps> hellebore is grooming hellebore okay let's see the first person I'm looking for a plant. Um, lady of, what's it, something or other. Ugh, I'm no green-eyed drear, that's for sure. My mind isn't at all what it used to be. It's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline. The Lady of Summer, we've seen that. But not named it. Lady of Summer. The leaves curl round delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature makes this a sought-after ornamental plant, aids with conditions of memory deterioration associated with old age. Lady of Summer, you seem quite young to be having mental decline. I'm, I'm sorry, it does happen. Um, let's see. You don't have the little thing. This could be it. Sweet, A single sweet-smelling dark flower. What do we think? Hang on, you? You're also a single... You smell sweet? They're soft. Your fingers ache from, hold from handling it. This is... Okay. This doesn't say anything about the smell. The leaves curl round delightfully. Okay, not this one. This one. It has to be this one. Everyone's saying that as well. Yeah, thank you, Kyrivo. Colin Phillips says, Why these cat shoves their head into the cat litter is still a mystery to me. <laughs> it's a mystery to everyone. Um. Oh, uh, Merlin. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's do it. Lady of Summer. Correct! And we've learned about Fennet. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. Ooh, I like the sound of that. It has long, soft leaves. This is the Lady of Summer. Am I out of labels? Oh no, there they are. Lady of Summer. What are you, Forest Comfrey? You can go second. <laughs> Nine says Mullen is a chaos gremlin. We know this. Very true, very true. 
The world's gentle as chaos, gremlin. Very good, Marlin. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm petting him. <laughs> you actually get a much... Uh, I'm, I'm much better during stream about Marlin than I am when I'm, like, in the middle of an intense game of Fortnite with friends or something, where the, I'll be like, enemies are, are, are on ping, they're coming in. I'm down. Oh, you're such a good boy, Marlin. <laughs> just, like, completely distracted. <laughs> And everyone kind of just takes it in stride. Um, I can just, I can fit in like one more person, surely. I'm excited about the organization. I'd like to get even more sections put in at some point. This will do for now. They're saying the Arda's been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but it seemed to me the Arda always looked out for the less fortunate. Thank you for the letter, David. Nine just says that just means you have your priorities right, V. Cat trumps video games every time. Yes. Yes, they do, don't they, Marlin? Yeah. Okay, so. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Hmm. Great Gable. And we've also got to look up this clue. So let's do a little bit of exploring before I end the stream. I just don't want to end, can you tell? <laughs> I'm just having too good of a time. So our clues are north of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rusland, and south of Crinkle Crags. Here's Crinkle Crags. It'll be south. Where's Lowick? East of Lowick, so Lowick will be over here somewhere, probably. Crinkle Crags. Oh, here's Lowick. South. East. Okay. West of Rusland. 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 Okay, so it's going to be in here. If it's east of Lowick and west of Rusland, north of Hawkshead. There's Crinkle Crags. There's Hawkshead. North and south of those is right here. This has to be here. So I think it has to be here. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Nine says it must to be in column 17. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. This is very fun. We succeeded. Okay. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Mm. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face. But only a whisper. He raises his arm, points... I follow his outstretched finger and I'm surprised to find a cluster of wild flowers growing there, hidden from view. New plants acquired! Okay, let's spread these out a little bit. Okay, that went well. And do I have anything else to find? Great Gable. Uh, I'm gonna water my plants? Hang on. Okay. Nothing is going to die. Under my care. <laughs> okay. That's all watered. Hellebore has been pet. Sam says, I wish more games would just use direction based location finding. Games that are designed for quest markers are very different from ones where they actually use directions. Fully agreed. 
Uh, Nine says, I think that's one reason Morrowind has so many people praise it over other games in the Elder Scrolls series. I'm one of those people. You just get vague directions. I have to go around exploring. It's a weird, weird world to get anywhere. I've considered streaming Morrowind. I really love it. I've, I've played it so many times and I, I want to share it with people. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe one day. You have to read your journal and keep track of things. It's brilliant. Karima says, ah, yes, watering the fungi. Nine says, most fungi like damp conditions. True, yeah, see, it, I'm just keeping them damp like they like. That's all. It's, it's totally fine. Um, <laughs> oh, will to explore. Let's look for this. Explore Great Gable. Great Gable. Up here. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I am still some distance from the summit. I am freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back down the mountain unless I use some Brimlock to keep warm. Okay, Brimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a draft made from using leaves from the Brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right, in the cold of winter, Brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Well, you're not candy root with small yellow flowers. But it's only in the in the winter that it produces yellow flowers. Is it winter? Is it possible I don't have it? Al says, I don't think the plants die when unwatered, but if you water them, you get a bonus will to explore. Oh, that's probably true. Or could be true. Wing says, is it a murder mystery? Well, we have been investigating the murder of the Arda of the witches, but um, it's very slowly unfolding. Mostly we're running our shop. The one next to the Wren? What was Wren here? Oh, you think it could be this with no... Oh, I think you could be right. That leaf looks just like it, Eldritch. Thank you. Smooth waxy leaves, Eldritch. You genius. It doesn't have any flowers right now because it's not winter. Brimlock. Oh, thank you, Eldritch. You've got a good eye for this. Okay. And we've learned about Sunset Mount Teep. Mount Cap. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read that text. The Sunset Mount Cap is a type of fungus with domed caps, sometimes called stinking Mount Cap as a result of its unpleasant odor. It is thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly toxic to humans and should not be eaten. I push on, no longer feeling the cold and am presently rewarded. We've got a new plant. Oh, you can go in the flowers section. Sing You're not single flowers. You can go in the miscellaneous flowers section. I need to label my Grimlock. Yellow. My Grimlock. Okay, uh, and let's see, order. Ah, okay, this is going great. Wing says it's only mildly, it'll be fine. It's only mildly toxic, totally edible. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a safe mechanic to this game, says Eldritch? I am going to attempt that right now. Let me see. I think it auto saves. Um, let me just go to my end screen. Everyone, this has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for the company. This game is incredible. Obviously, just from what I've played so far, I highly recommend it. I'm having a great time. Um, and everyone who's gotten it themselves, let me know how it goes uh, without spoilers, because I, I hope you enjoyed as much as I have. Uh, obviously, I'll be back again next week. On Friday, I will be playing more Strange Horticulture. And on Wednesday, I will be playing something, I don't know, maybe more Book of Travels, perhaps. We'll see. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend. And thank you again. Bye, everyone. <laughs>